if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher crown. Thinking that I'll be your sweet escape. These days got a schedule to romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride in the crib. You said no hands up. Shit, it feel like I'm floating. But I'm balling. My blood dies close when I let the rest spin. Testing the water. Shit, I'm a nurse test. I ain't even have a purpose. I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst of me. Society paint me as enemy. It's all good. I'm okay. I'm just like, no, I didn't. Okay, so I had to do a voiceover just for copyright reasons again. And also, Tony's a shop owner, so he plays whatever music he likes. We both play the same kind of music. So, you know, I had to cut a little bit out from the background. That's it. So this is the part where me and Tony were going back and forth. Uh, just talking about how much we liked the gun, how much he liked how it looked. And the tulip tip, I was telling him about how nice, how nice it is. And he was trying to let me buy it from you. <laughs> and so we just got a quick little close up. And so far he's impressed with it. He likes it. He's a really big Iwata fan. And he's just shaking his head. He was like, let me buy it from you. Uh, first he was like, oh yeah. Um, how about I give you 200 for it? I didn't pay 200 for it, so I was willing to let it go for like literally how much it cost me. And his whole principle is that you give people a little extra money, you pay for what it's worth. And, you know, he was just saying that, hey, when you get extra ones, let me know. I'll get this one from you. You know, he really liked it. So, because the only thing he really has is the W400s and the Bellaria. So he has good guns, but for the price of the gun, it's definitely worth it. Because uh, we did a little bit of shooting on it and definitely works good. So I'll put some footage down below just to show. And yeah, so, so far, yeah, look, he's happy with it. I'm happy with it. So it's kind of uh, just looking at it. You know, Avalon being a company that's been out since 1985. Uh, they moved around. They were in Taiwan. They were in different parts of China. And now they have really stepped into the game again. So we both appreciate it. Two, 200 bucks? Someone that? I just want to shout out Tony's shop. You know, if you're ever in the Tampa, Florida area, check him out. And this is just one of the Camaros that he's working on. He does amazing work. Definitely learned a lot from him. So this is a more in-depth look when got home. So we saw Tony's reaction. He liked it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yep, so the Avalon WLS 400, definitely nice. I wanna do more traditional style unboxing. So came with the cup. I never use these cups, but I use them for like a one shot. And throw away. I understand people who use them. I, I'm not the person who wants to sit here and clean stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Like, oh, I'm gonna clean. It. Nope, sure not. But that's why I got PPS cups. But it's okay. So, comes with tools. I kind of like that. Let me see. Sorry, just dropped something. Comes with, you know. W400 LS400X <laughs> copyright 
Anyway, <laughs> it even has a cool little picture on it. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it literally tells you how. But it would be nicer if it told me how in English. But maybe it's just not meant for us. But hey, just because it's not technically meant for us doesn't mean we're not going to buy it. I mean, oh, it's hard for one hand. Y'all know this. Oh, okay. Okay. Little diagrams. I mean, I don't know how long a hundred millimeters is. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The mathematicals isn't there. So, hey, where's that gun? That's like, that's all the stuff we don't have. Yep, instructions. So it comes with it. Y'all don't really care about that. Let's be honest. And here's the gun itself. What y'all actually do care about is something else in the bottom. Oh, okay. Got a lot of air tools. Pretty cool. No complaints. All right, let me open this. See everything's on hand. So y'all know I'm jiggling stuff out. <laughs> so yeah, here's it. Here's more of an in-depth look of it. I think it looks pretty damn good. So this is basically a tulip tip. I know they, they're not calling it a tulip tip. <coughs> Copyright reasons. Anyway, um, that's part of the reason. I can tell. I'm just looking at it. I like it. The reason why I got it, I'm not trying to support any company that, you know, makes copies. But to me, this is a good enough difference between making it two different guns. I mean, you know. Mine is a Dragon, Avalon. I mean, it's not 100%, and the parts don't even match up. Like, 100%. Like, if you try to take this cap off, this needle, and that stuff off, it is not fitting on the LPHs or the W400. So, they did that. So, I like that. They're different that way. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Actually, let me grab one of my LPHs just to show y'all. Okay. So, here's one of my very used LPH 400s. I have better ones. I just grabbed the first one I can grab. You see this? The tulip tip. I mean, to me, it's not bad shape. Mine's that stuff. But if you look at them, very close. Kind of like, you know, how Harbor Freight skates on the lines of copy versus a lot of other companies. It's not identical, but it's definitely different. But I am not gonna lie to you. I like this finish. The Spanish looks nice. And you know, of course, the colors, that stands out as well. So if you just look at them, they got the curvature here, no curvature here. Um, this is more hooked, that's more out. I mean, you got a little indentation here, no indentation here. And let me throw, yeah, huh. This is straightforward. So you have where it says Iwata here, Dragon here, Avalon here, Tear. So you see how there's nothing here, something here, and how's it these, these. Everything's a little tiny differences between. Like, let me show you another thing. Like, I feel like the Iwata is just done better for the tip. But the tulip definitely is really close into looks i mean it's pretty much the same but it won't fit i've done it but also look there's like only two holes there i mean two holes on the avalon one hole on the lph this one the holes are a little bigger so this is a 1.4 and this is a 1.4 so it's kind of like they're both 1.4s but this one looks like it's going to shoot out way more material just from the tip size. So yeah, this is like Avalon versus LPH. 
I mean, I'm gonna do later videos of spraying them. It's just right now, this is just an unboxing. So this is no spray in the video. I know I need to get better with spray videos, but I need more stuff to spray. So, you know, I'll be doing that. I'm just prepping right now. So it's a one man show. So if y'all don't know, one man shows take a little bit of time. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show y'all just so y'all get an idea, difference of it and of course what everyone always wants to know is price um these ones how much did they run for i got them for 110 or 100 yeah 110 so i spent 110 for this <laughs> and we all know these go for like 280 300 okay so i just want to be honest and I said 110, but I actually meant 170, 180. Um, I was thinking of another gun I purchased. That's literally how many guns I purchase on a regular basis. It's it, it's a real addiction, real problem. <laughs> but not a real one. I just, you know, I don't want to downplay anybody who has addiction. Trust me, been there. Uh, definitely, you know, being around certain stuff i mean you know we all have problem situations but you know just off of the sake of just for a paint gun habit addiction yes but not a real technical addiction you know so no therapy involved but it is expensive that's the reason why i call it a problem because it is expensive so yeah i spent about 170 180 on this one and this one Literally, I forgot. It's been so many years I've used these before. So, yeah, just to show you. So 170, 180 for a brand new, that's my point, a brand new gun. To me, that's amazing. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video of spraying with this one, try to do a larger panel and just a fan pattern review as well, just so I can give y'all like an idea, like, hey, fan pattern. And then also just how it looks animization wise. So I'm gonna have to like do more videos of that. So I just wanted to go ahead and end this out. Just correct myself, 170, 180. So what I do is I'll post a link down below. Um, you can get them from two places. Um, I can't pronounce the one, it's a P-U-S something website. And you can get them from AliExpress as well or Alibaba and a lot of people are like I don't trust that but hey they come so I mean I don't know many other places to get it from so I just want to help out show people where I got it from so you can know but anyway this concludes this video of the Avalon just an unboxing so if you come in the comments saying, hey, we want to see a spray, you're going to see a spray. Just, I'm waiting to finish prepping work. So I'm prepping right now. I got cars coming. So it's kind of like the idea of when you're a one man show, you got to prep it. And then you got to wait for parts to come in. And I'm not just going to spray one part just so y'all can see a video and then mess up the jobs. I mean, because <laughs> that's the idea. We all work. Last thing I want to do is mess up a job. I mean, I used to work at a dealership. Now I'm more uh, for myself. I miss dealership work, not even gonna lie, because I got to spray on a regular basis and I had to prep nothing. So that's a whole nother video, a whole nother story. But anyway, y'all have a blessed one. Take care. And thanks for watching the video. So this is the Avalon. And I'll post more information down around here below. So like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. You might get stretched. All your gun talk, I ain't impressed. My 45 seen real traffic. That's Dallas, Texas. My little partner called a body four Maserati. He told him get about the car, hit him with the shoddy. That 12th gauge gave him life in the 12th grade. I tried to write him, but we ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping. I just had to let him know. Ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul.